nervous? I mean, yes and no. I mean, I'm not that nervous, but like, it's yeah. still like a needle going in your lips, so like, how could you not? Right? Open chin up, open your mouth just a little bit, and then do one, two, three, and up. What's up guys, it's Sebastian here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very, very, very special day. I'm actually really, really nervous. So if you guys read the title, I'm actually gonna be getting lip injections. And no, I'm not gonna be looking like Kylie. I'm not gonna be looking like a duck. Honestly, I hope I don't. That's not my goal. A lot of people are probably gonna judge me off of it, but I wanna explain why I'm getting them, my whole reasoning and opinion behind them. Make sure you guys subscribe and tap that bell for post notifications. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So first off, I'm actually getting lip injections because I'm extremely insecure about my lips. I've actually always been insecure about my lips. It's not that I hate myself or I don't like myself. Why not improve myself? I do not want to get like freaking blown up lips. I literally want super, super natural lips. I just have no top lip. Like I literally look like a Simpson and I've gotten so many comments about my lips and looking like a Simpson or like no lips or like who stole my lips. Like I just get so many hate comments based off of like my lips. And I'm not doing it to please people to go and follow what society thinks is beautiful. I'm doing it because I actually was insecure about my lips even before I got the hate comments. It's not like the hate comments changed me. Totally not the case. I'm actually genuinely doing this just for myself because I want to feel a little bit more confident. And I don't think there's anything wrong with feeling a little bit more Confident. The place I'm getting my lip fillers is at the Cosmetic Injectables Center. I've actually had a few friends get their lips done there, such as my really good friend Grace Otten. And I reached out to them because I wanted to get my lips done. Now I'm actually going to be getting them and I can't even believe it. I was supposed to get them done like two weeks ago, but you know, complications. The schedule with the doctor and my schedule they, like didn't work, but I'm finally getting them today. It is Friday, July 27th, and I just like can't even fathom the fact that I'm going to be getting injections. I'm going to be getting Juvederm. I've done tons and tons of research behind it. I know what I'm going to be in for. I'm praying that I don't have any bruising, but I made sure to follow the instructions with not taking in blood thinners such of that matter so i'm just gonna hope and pray to god that they turn out well we'll find out anyways let's head to dr solomon's office at cosmetic injectable center on ventura boulevard and encino california let's go let's do it okay guys so i just made it to the office at Cosmetic Injectables Center and they got the whole ring light and set up so that was like really sweet of them and I really appreciate that because we can always use good lighting. I'm going to sign some paperwork and we'll see how it goes. So we're putting on numbing cream right now because I do not want to feel anything. <laughs> Usually it takes mm -hmm. about 20 minutes for the full effects of it. Are you nervous? I mean yes and no. I mean I'm not that nervous but like it's yeah. still like a needle going in your lips so like how could you not? Should I rub it in like chapstick? No. No. No? Don't try to taste it either. I took it out of the syringe and I put it in these baby ones mm -hmm. so that it doesn't hurt very much. All eyes are on you. Right? Your chin up, open your mouth just a little bit. And then do so it. after do looking at myself, um, I realized I literally look like a psychopath. Um, so don't mind my eyes during this whole process of me getting the injections. Is it, are you feeling it or are you pretty numb? A little bit. Not too bad. Yeah. Are you nervous? Yeah. Yeah. Are you nervous? Zero to ten. How bad? Pain wise. <laughs> like one, zero. It's not that bad. It's just like hard to keep still. Like I'm shaking, but I don't know why. You're just nervous. Mm-hmm. I think waiting is worse than actually getting it done. Anticipation of it. Open your mouth. Your mouth. Oh. Different. Okay. We're gonna do just a little bit. Good. Last prick and we're done. Okay, that's it. I was not at all. So I only did half a syringe. It's because of the shape of your lips. We have to go super slow. We have to stretch it out before we can actually put more. So this is going to be the part that's actually going to make your lips look really nice. Okay. But numb. Okay. A little bit numb. One, two, three, and ouch. One, two, three, and ouch. Two more, one, two, three, and ouch. Three, and ouch. 
Okay. That's it? That's it. So the Botox is going to kick in about three to four days. Okay. Dude, I'm going to look really nice. So I just walked out of the office. I'm just praying to God that I do not have any bruising. But they're actually super, super sweet here at Cosmetic Injectable Center. And they said if I have any bruising, they'll give me a complimentary like blood vessel thing. Let's hope that we don't have to do that. But if I do, I'm very thankful that they offered that. So guys, I just woke up and it is the morning after I got my lips. They're a little bit inflamed. They're a little bit swollen, like right here, right here. But it's not too bad. But overall, like the pain is not too bad. It's like, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It feels kind of hard right now. It's kind of bruised. Honestly, it just feels like I got punched in the mouth. The pain is like not unbearable. It's not too bad at all. Like honestly, a scale to one to 10, I would say three and a half, four. Um, it's just something to kind of like deal with. I've been icing it. I iced it all last night. Definitely really, really hard to eat. Um, I can't really like smile. Like that's as far as I can smile. I'm trying not to like move my lips too much. The only thing I can really do is talking. I, I shouldn't be talking this much, but it's not too bad at all. I don't know, it's not too bad. I'm actually really, really happy with the results so far. I literally have lips now, so that's cool. They came out really, really natural. They don't look too fake at all and they don't look like ducks. It looks really, really natural and I'm really, really happy. So I'll update you guys later, so yeah. All right, <laughs> bye. Okay, so it has been now a full 10 whole days since I've gotten my injections. I am so beyond happy with them. I can't wait to actually go in for my other half of the syringe in three weeks just to fill them out just a little bit more because I would like my top lip to be a tad bigger, not anything too drastic or crazy. But I'm actually really, really happy with the results and how it turned out. But I really, really liked how they turned out. They're, they're now soft. It's a little bit like you can kind of feel like where the solution solution is on your lips but it's not like hard how it was the first couple four to five days but overall my experience with getting lip injections was amazing and I am so happy and honestly I am so excited to go again also my experience at the cosmetic injectable center was phenomenal everyone there all the staff there are so sweet and so kind and generous they all definitely love their job and that's why I love the environment there and I really felt like at home and very comfortable there also dr. Solomon was very very sweet she definitely cared if my lips were hurting or the pain levels or everything she was constantly asking me questions which I really appreciated because it shows that she actually cares about her job cares about my well-being and her clients but anyways here's a close-up of my lips of how they look like now after 10 days of getting the injections so lol please do not mind my crusty corner from all the citrus foods I've been eating but this is my side profile. The top lip is still pretty small, but it's definitely an improvement. I totally forgot to take before videos, but just know my lips were really small before. And this is what the lips look like with the filler in on the inside. And now I actually can see my top lip when I smile. I know I keep saying this, but I'm just like so happy that I got them. And honestly, if you want injections anywhere, if you guys want to get fillers anywhere, like just go for it. Life is too short to not be happy with yourself. And if that's going to make you just a little bit happier, then do it. It's not hurting anyone else. It's not hurting you. So why not live your life to the fullest? I definitely recommend the Cosmetic Injectables Center if you want to go get some type of filler. Other than that, I am very, very excited with my new lips and my new face. It's super, super exciting, you know, to look in the mirror and just be so so happy with the results. This definitely was like a little bit of an early birthday gift because if you guys didn't know, my birthday is August 27th and I turned 19 on August 27th. So it was like a little bit of an early gift for myself and I was really, really happy that I got it. I love you guys so much. If you guys thought this video was interesting, if you guys are planning on getting lip injections, you know, leave a comment down below. I would love to know who's planning on getting any type of fillers or injections or lip injections like me, let me know. I would love to see the comments. Also, if you guys thought this video was interesting or you just felt bad for the pain that I went through, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Make sure you guys subscribe and tap that bell for post notifications just so you guys don't miss a post. I'm trying to post weekly. Hopefully I can keep it up. I've been doing pretty well for the past, you know, week, but like I'm a loser. So we'll see if the procrastination really gets to me, which it probably always does, which sucks, but I'm trying to get better at it. But anyways, guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this whole entire video if you made it this far then you're a true one i literally love you so so much i'll see you guys in next week's video i love you guys bye